Good morning and welcome to the Stalls TV Morning Show. I'm Josh. I'm Jenna. And this is the final show of 2017. It is. And so we've had a fun year. We've had a morning show just about every single week, unless it fell on a holiday or something right. every year. So roughly 50 shows throughout the year uh, covered a lot of ground and a lot of different products. Now, we made a slight change to the morning show leading into this year where we started featuring a look of the week every week. And we also started doing something called a Make It Monday. And I think those, uh, those sorts of segments of the morning show have been very well received. So we'll plan to keep that in place for uh, 2018 and beyond. And we're also going to uh, continue to tweak the format um, so we can make sure we're bringing you compelling information that impacts your business at the frequency that you need it in. Today, we have an interesting topic. Last week, you had the opportunity to pick samples from around the office stuff we've created this year and share some of your favorite looks from 2017 mm -hmm. with our viewers. And this week, it's my turn. So I'm excited. I've, I've picked a lot of different samples I want to go through with you, and they're from different categories of heat applied graphics or even uh, sewn graphics for embroidery. So we'll be able to explain uh, some products, hopefully show you something new that maybe you didn't catch throughout the year in this episode. But as always, we want to start with look of the week. All right, so this one was brought to us by Laura Pellman. And I really like this look of the week. I love all of the different looks that she created for the holiday season and how they are all done out of glitter. And to me, glitter flake just screams Christmas and New Year's and that type of holiday. So I think this is perfect for reaching those customers this time of year. Yeah, you also see uh, some influences from pop culture and different things that are popular around Christmas time. Uh, I love the combination and the mixed media. And just when you combine glitter and put the glitter effects close to each other, like you see in the Santa hat there, or even on the uh, pinwheel with the hair bow, you get that extra impact. So I think that's a good pickup out of these designs is being able to uh, combine those and, and place them close together gives you even extra bling. Yeah, absolutely. And then we also picked another one, uh, and this one was awareness. And this was all done out of Premium Plus. So I like that if when you're doing a one-off, you keep in mind that heat transfer vinyl is the way to go in order to make the most profit out of it. But as you mentioned earlier when we were talking about this look, screen printed transfers is also a great option if you're printing for more than just one person. Yeah, this is interesting. Um, I, I love this uh, shirt. It looks like it was a one-off creation, so it made sense. Uh, Brandy Flemmer created it, so thank you for uh, submitting it. And it, the effect that she put into place on the awareness ribbon is really cool. How it's kind of going across the screen almost with a tail and the hearts are, are spreading out. So I thought that was really unique. Uh, a way to take this concept and maybe make it um, have a mass appeal if you wanted to create a concept like this and sell it to a lot of different mm -hmm. people would be almost to order a screen printed transfer in all the parts except for the bottom name drop. And then you can have your screen printed transfers lined up with the text heavy stuff in the top mm -hmm. so you don't have to weed it every time and then drop in a name drop uh, underneath uh, cut from heat transfer film. So two very cool looks submitted by uh, Laura and Brandy. Laura, I know you're watching, so you're welcome for the shout out. <laughs> we're, we're always happy. Uh, shout out, we're always happy when uh, our viewers that submit the looks also attend the show. If you want to submit for look of the week, there's three ways you can do that. You can email us. It's going across the bottom of your screen. You can also add it to our Facebook page. Uh, submitting it to Stall Show and Tell, or you can tag us on Instagram. All three ways are valid to submit for Look of the Week. Okay, so we have people coming from San Diego, Ottawa, Ottawa. Canada. There's some others just saying good morning. I know um, from Tennessee, from Texas. So if you're watching from a different part of the country or a different part of the world, please shout out uh, where you're from. We always like to see the range of viewers we have on across uh, really worldwide here on the Stalls TV Morning Show. So let's get into some of these looks. All right. Okay. So things were kind of girly last week, I must <laughs> admit. Uh, we had a lot of uh, female sort of inspired designs or mm -hmm. female demographic stuff. So we're going to start with some uh, football jerseys and in a material that's particular uh, for high school sports is what we're showing this here, particularly for football. And I wanted to pick this look because it shows one of our most popular products, actually our most popular heat mm -hmm. transfer film still in CAD cut thermofilm. Uh, this product gets a lot of play and a lot of use from our traditional customers at stalls. But I think sometimes um, our newer customers that aren't as familiar with the athletics market maybe forget about this product or use just a, a basic material on their jerseys. Uh, but thermofilm is really nice because it's thicker, it's more uh, robust, it's tougher 
on these jerseys. And I've had people say that this really outlasts a jersey, which is crazy right. when you think about the construction of these. So we've done uh, completed the front uh, combination, also the back combination with the name drop on uh, name and number, and we have all kinds of uh, helpful guides and resources on the stalls.com website that uh, tell you what number size and placement and everything you need to do here. One of the big reasons I picked this look is because of the TV number. So just adding the extra placement uh, of a top shoulder is really easy when you're decorating athletic uniforms and it packs a little more profit into that same garment. Yeah, and I always say the more areas of a garment that you can print, the more profit you can make. So just being able to take advantage of all those print areas on one garment can really create an upsell for you. Okay, and this is a continuation of the thermal film for a look I selected. I wanna show that this product can be layered. Here you see it on a faux split front jersey from Teamwork Athletic. So was the other jersey from Teamwork Athletic and we see a multicolor uh, combination. In this case, thermofilm is so thick and so rugged, we've applied it directly over the seam. Uh, this is a, a fake split front, as I mentioned, so it's actually sewn together and it doesn't unbutton except for the top two buttons. So it's a great way to be able to have that split front look, perhaps for a little uh, less expense and a little easier to decorate. Uh, once again, we've completed the application on the back. And another thing I like with the extra application on there, yeah, area on this one is the full color transfer. So when you start considering uh, decorating any type of garment really, uh, being able to customize with a full color print, perhaps for a, a league name, a sponsor logo, uh, something like that uh, can really be a nice opportunity. Right, and I think even if you, so say you are the decorator, but you're also a sponsor, being able to just drop your logo on there too so that whenever they're ordering, they know who to come back to. Yeah, and sometimes if the league wants to have a sponsor, maybe they want to go out and sell a sponsorship, you can help to offset some of the cost of the jersey by mm -hmm. printing a sponsor logo on the sleeve. Or sometimes you even see that instead of a player name, you see the sponsor as the name drop, especially on like little league uniforms right. or something like that. So some questions coming in. We have shout outs from Dallas, Richmond, Virginia, Atlanta, Georgia. Hopefully you didn't try to get through the airport yesterday. Uh, Northeast Oregon. Uh, more from Georgia, Illinois, Arizona. Wow, we have people all over the place. So keep the shout outs coming. We're happy to have you all on today. Uh, Patty asked, does Thermofilm have a sticky carrier? It does actually, and that's what makes it so nice uh, for a lot of our customers that are doing a lot of cutting and weeding. Uh, so that tacky carrier is gonna allow you to do a little more detail, not so much with Thermofilm. Uh, you don't wanna go too in detail thicker, there, yeah. yeah. So, but it does have that tacky carrier in case a piece of it were to pick up in the weeding process, you can tack it right back down. Yeah, and Thermofilm, uh, just to make sure you understand that product, it comes by the roll uh, in heat transfer film rolls. We call our brand CAD Cut, uh, is how we sell it. It also comes through a variety of our pre cut services from Stall. So, if you wanted us to cut the names and numbers for you, send them to you ready to apply already pre spaced. That's called our Player Perfect mm -hmm. offering in Thermofilm. Or you can even order it just in loose, what we call pre-cut numbers, where the numbers come loose in packs and you can position those or the letters uh, on the jersey yourself. So a lot of different ways you can order thermofilm. It's definitely a staple product uh, of stalls that we've had in the lineup for some time. And we just added two new colors too. So we offer the Vegas gold and the metallic silver now too. Yeah, uh, thermofilm is resistant to dye migration. It does not block dye migration. It doesn't have a blocker built in, but because of its thickness, if you have just a standard polyester garment that wants to bleed, it, it does a really nice job with that. If it's a sublimated garment, I would look towards our silicone dye block where it's a specific dye block technology uh, solution. We're gonna apply silicone a little bit later mm -hmm. uh, in our Make It Monday. All right, next garment that covers thermofilm for now. We'll right. come back to thermofilm in a bit. I actually like that you picked this one. I love the mixed media because we paired a fashion film heat transfer vinyl, which has a smooth matte finish, but then we also added the flock to give it that raised effect. And I think that is always a good finish to go to on textured polos like this. Yeah, so the flock is actually the black in this graphic. And so we've done a uh, mixed media combination, a basic heat transfer film with the flock. Um, one of the reasons I picked this, of course, was the mixed media, but also just heat applying left chest logos. I think this is an opportunity that a lot of decorators overlook is the small business market around town. We tend to get in spirit wear and sports and these markets, but heat printing is a very viable technology uh, mm -hmm. for small business apparel. So whether that's six employees or 50 employees, being able to go in with some good uh, corporate apparel samples and showing heat printed logos, either exclusively heat printing or if you already do embroidery, 
showing heat printing as an economy price option uh, next to embroidery or just with different effects, uh, it's a big opportunity for you to capitalize on and add to your business in 2018. And I think flock is a good comparison to embroider. So if you're looking for a material that's slightly similar to embroidery because it has that fabric feel to it, it I think that's always a good option to go. Good. Let's keep in the small business realm and let's talk about outerwear. This particular garment is decorated with uh, 3M Scotch Light Reflective. And so this is a cuttable uh, 3M Reflective that we can cut for you or you can cut yourself and it's decorated onto this red cap garment. Uh, in this case, we sourced it from Sanmar. So this outerwear, this heavy workwear, uh, you always see uh, folks wearing this, especially in the fall and winter months. And so being able to customize this rather than just an off the shelf item, being able to heat apply and customize this is a really big opportunity. It is a big opportunity and we see a lot of uh, apparel decorators shy away from printing garments like this because they're afraid of ruining a higher end item such as this outerwear. But this is actually really easy to print. Uh, we were looking at the inside of it. It's quilted inside. It's not going to be um, heat sensitive or anything. You don't have to worry about anything in here melting. And then of course, just knowing your heat transfer vinyl and what to put on there so that you're not scorching any of the fabric also. Yeah, when you're decorating outerwear, you wanna make sure that there's no uh, really thick seam uh, mm -hmm. on the inside of it. Um, in this case, it's pretty consistent in that it's a very uh, thin stitching that gives right. the uh, quilting that's sewn in. It's not a really thick uh, padding at all. And so we just added a left chest name drop, which is very common uh, when you're decorating uh, workwear or these types of items. And so Reflective is a great product. We chose it in this case because, of course, it's for a construction crew that could be working in low light uh, conditions. So it adds the extra visibility. And we have a ton of solutions in Reflective products. This one was 3M could have very easily been our new CAD Cut Reflective 2 product, which is an economy priced option if they didn't need the certified right. uh, visibility for that application. All right, we have some uh, comments coming in, uh, some questions. Have you found out if the silicone cuts well with the laser? So Ruben, we're still doing some testing on the silicone with the laser and hope to have a recommendation uh, shortly uh, for you. So we'll come back uh, to that one here in early 2018 and give you a um, a lab certified answer to make sure we, we've conducted thorough testing. Okay, so one of the product lines that I feel like we try to give it a lot of play, but it always could use more is right. uh, screen printed transfers. And so I wanted to pick this one just to make sure that decorators are aware of the capability of screen printed transfers as they head into 2018 with their business. Uh, screen printed transfer is exactly that. It's screen printing ink onto a transfer sheet. It comes to you, all you do is heat apply it and it's done. So in this case, if you were to, if you have a vinyl cutter and thought about cutting and weeding this, you'd probably be having nightmares <laughs> right now. Uh, but you get this splatter, you can get distressed effects, you can get a whole lot of different things already done for you. All you have to do is heat apply. Yeah, and what's nice about uh, Transfer Express is they offer that easy view designer. So it's really easy to just take templates that they already have created and customize them or build from scratch based off of their clip art. So there's a lot of uh, different markets that you can reach with screen printed transfers. So I think it's always a good option if you're printing bulk orders. Yeah, and it's simpler to understand, in my opinion, than all the different styles of heat transfer vinyl. Right. Uh, at its core, there's really three fundamental transfer types. Uh, that um, Transfer Express offers. There's more if you want to get into full color and other effects, but basic screen printed transfers. You have Hot Split, which is this one. Hot Split is a little bit lighter weight. Mm -hmm. Doesn't quite have the opacity um, that uh, Goof Proof, which is a little thicker formula has, but feels nice where you don't need like uh, true opacity. The white may shift a little based on your base color, but it feels really nice. Then we have Goof Proof, which is this particular garment. This is by far the most popular formula from Transfer Express because it presses uh, 365 degrees, three to five seconds, boom, it's done. Um, but that can create some application issues. So the last formula is Elastiprints for heat sensitive items. That's Elastiprints, E-L-A-S-T-I prints, okay? Um, so this look we sent out with one of our project press boxes, which is a program that we ran uh, through 2017. Um, this particular uh, transfer. The reason I chose this, it's not that it's that fancy of a garment, but it, it illustrates the benefit of screen printed transfers very well. And that we have a two color design for Camp Carmel Family Week here that shows applied to a basic t-shirt. This is bread and butter business for an apparel decorator. 
And the reason I wanted to use a screen printed transfer on this is because if I'm decorating for a camp, odds are there's going to be a lot of campers. I'm not talking about 12 pieces or 24 pieces. I'm looking at 50 shirts, 100 shirts, something like that. And so in that case, I can get this already printed. I just heat apply. And then we added some customization because we want to show you that you can get screen printed transfers in names and numbers too. And so you can order the uh, transfer numbers from Transfer Express or the transfer names so that the ink matches the print on the front of the shirt. And then last but not least, when you're working with transfers, you want to make sure you fill up that sheet. And so we've put a little customization here on the sleeve um, to, to utilize our gang sheet, as it's called, to make sure we're utilizing uh, the full amount. You can see some of the detail you can get here. Right, and I think it's good to put a website on there so that people know where to come back from, whether it's other people seeing the shirt, wanting to order some for themselves, and just being able to, basically it's like a walking ad. You just see that on there, you know where to order. Yeah, sometimes you may even put that in your offer as a decorator. That was a, a fake apparel decorating company, Waylon Smith Clothing, uh, that we wanted to illustrate the concept. So when I'm selling to those hundred uh, campers, maybe I'm selling to the director and say, well, we can save you a quarter off each shirt if we can just drop our logo on. No cost to you, you put it in a gang sheet, um, order it, all you have to do is have a little bit of application time. And now I've just went out to perhaps 100 different families and get awareness. So it's a really a marketing expense uh, for your business, but built right into the apparel that you're printing. Right. And Lou Richards asked, where did we source the jacket? That was sourced from Sanmar. So there's a lot of different, um, there's a big variety in Sanmar actually when it comes to outerwear, but they also do a ton of different stuff. They offer a ton of brands that are specific just to Sanmar. They're the only ones that sell those brands other than alternative apparel, uh, but it's very exclusive just to Sanmar. So you have a lot of options there. Okay. Hopefully you're enjoying the looks. We're at about the halfway point of, of my selected looks. Um, I actually selected some stuff that you created and decorated. You did. Um, and so I want to go through those next just to talk through those. Um, let's start with this. Okay, so this was actually done just last Thursday in the Printing Shoes live broadcast. And uh, if you joined us, we used this on the shoe platen and we used CAD cut patterns there. So what's nice about CAD cut patterns, it has a lot of versatility when it comes to the different um, materials or fabrics that you can apply it to. This is kind of like a suede fabric. This boot was also purchased from Viv and Lou, so you can order these wholesale and uh, bring them in house. But we just pressed this using the shoe platen on the Hotronics Fusion and the flexible application pad. And it's a monogram, which is very popular, uh, has been popular throughout the year, and I don't see it slowing down anytime soon. Um, so a circle monogram font and just uh, creating that cool look, and it really looks high end and it adds that extra element of personalization would make a great Christmas gift. Might be kind of late to get them in and decorate them for Christmas, but if you're looking for that last minute idea and you're a decorator, I know making Christmas gifts um, is, is always a good thing in the business. Yeah, definitely. All right, then this is another monogrammed item and this was purchased from Wholesale Boutique. And this is actually what they call vegan leather, which is just like faux leather, and we applied glitter flake to this. So we did a tonal effect using our gold glitter flake and printing it on the uh, front pocket of the wristlet. So that we could seclude this area, we just used a print perfect pad and stuck that in there and then just pressed it right down on the press. Yeah, I love the tonal effect here. I probably do more handbag shopping than I'd like to admit, <laughs> um, but I know metallics uh, trend pretty big. Um, in that category. And so I really like the way you've uh, chosen a glitter material to match that metallic finish. It's a great uh, interpretation of a tone on tone effect and really helps it uh, maintain that elevated sort of high end look that you get on the wristlet, the handbag, whatever you would be decorating uh, with the heat transfer film. So really neat look. Right. And I think it's important to uh, keep in mind if you are going to print handbags that a lot of designs that you put on there need to be subtle. You don't want anything too crazy on there. Like it'd be awesome to put a pattern on here, but mm -hmm. would that sell? So it's just thinking about the different finishes to put on those so that you're guaranteed to sell the product. And most likely we want things that are subtle on there. So whether it's a tone on tone finish to incorporate some of that metallic or um, doing like a matte finish on the leather also. I'm pretty sure you just said don't ruin it in a nice <laughs> way, right? Yes, basically. <laughs> All right, I like this one. This is a uh, Santa sack. And so it's not necessarily the item, although it is cute, um, that's been decorated here, uh, but it's the concept. Burlap is uh, one of those fabrics 
um, that is really trended uh, this year. And so we've received a lot of questions throughout the year on, can I decorate uh, burlap? And the answer is absolutely yes, you can. Do you want to explain how? Right, so burlap is just another heat tran or not a heat transfer, but a material or fabric that you can use heat transfer vinyl on because it has that cotton base. So any heat transfer vinyl that we offer that is great for cotton or cotton poly blends can work perfectly on burlap. You don't have to risk this fabric um, burning or anything underneath that high heat. So that's, I think, what steers people away from it. They think that this fabric can scorch or burn under that heat, but it holds true anytime I uh, pressed on it. Yeah, it's pretty resistant. So if you were um, customizing these um, like in quantity uh, where you wanted to do a name drop, I uh, you have that picture that we could bring up. I wanted to show you this cute picture of something that happened in my house last week. At least I think it's cute <laughs> uh, because it's my daughter. And I, I showed her how easy it was to use CADWORKS Easy Teams. And in this case, uh, we had a track jacket order that we had to get for her dance school, and she knows all these dancers that she's typing out. But if you go to cadworkslive.com, it's a free online design software. And Easy Teams is so easy that an eight-year-old can use it. So I basically <laughs> set her up, I showed her the box, and, and gave her the order forms, which are just to her right there. And she's typing in all of the names that are going to go on the track jacket. Now, Unfortunately, she's not quite experienced enough to weed, so I had to do the weeding uh, here. She probably could if I let her, but I just don't want her using the sharp point quite yet. But right. uh, those are all the names that she typed in. So whether you are customizing uh, like this with Glitter Flake for a left chest application on a track jacket, whether it's for a name drop that's completed on the burlap sack, or even a player name that's completed on the back of a team uniform, uh, Easy Teams is a great way to be able to uh, complete a whole roster and the nice thing is you can apply a font to 100 names at once. You can apply an arch to 100 names at once. You can apply all these facts um, in a mass sort of way that we're not having to individually create them in Corel Draw or Adobe Illustrator. All right, so I'm interested to know if you weeded all of that out on the weeding table. You know what, I, I don't have a weeding table at home, which is ridiculous. Um, I thought at least three times during the weeding of this, <laughs> I really should just drive down the street because I'm only about a mile from work. I really should just drive down the street, heat up the weeding table, and weed them on there. But I had 50 names, so I just uh, toughed it out and spent the extra probably 45 minutes it took me to weed them instead of driving Yikes. down the street. But we do have a new weeding panel, so if you missed that news um, and you're looking for a more, more affordable version of the weeding table, we did two things. One, we dropped the price of the weeding table to $450 now. This is a heated weeding surface that makes peeling hot peel materials a lot easier. And then we launched a smaller version that just lays flat on the table uh, called the weeding panel. It doesn't have adjustable heat range or anything like that, but it's a very simple system. Lay on your tabletop, $69, and you reduce your weeding time greatly. All right. So Marlena asked if we used a special platen for the Wholesale Boutique Wallet. All we used was the um, 16 by 20 and then inserted a flexible, uh, or not, the print, print perfect, perfect pad. pad. Yeah. yeah, so it's um, it's similar to a mouse pad. You can purchase them on the stall's website, but it is more dense, so we're able to raise specific areas so that we can get a nice flat surface in order to press that. So where did you get the burlap sack that's shedding over on everything? <laughs> <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah. it um, that was purchased from Michael's. So any local craft store uh, sells a bunch of those, and then you can just add the personalization. But they do come printed already. The only thing we added was the flock for the personalization. Yeah, and I think that's an important point, especially for home businesses that are trying to do unique items. Mm -hmm. uh, the wholesale suppliers are, are the way to go, obviously. Um, but in, in some cases where you have a, a unique item or a boutique item or you need it right away because you're looking to execute on a concept like the week before Christmas, like today, right. <laughs> uh, head down to your local craft store, whether that's Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joanne Fabrics, whatever it might be, and odds are you'll find a, a whole array of items that you can add value to. Uh, by personalizing them. And at this rate, you're probably going to get half off because we're so close to Christmas. So keep that in mind, I guess. <laughs> okay. I promised you you'd get back to thermofilm and we're going to get back to thermofilm in a different interpretation of how to use it. So if we can zoom close on this, um, this particular rendition of thermofilm is with a process that we introduced actually a few years ago called rip away applique. Uh, I continue to like this look because thermofilm has almost a leather-like uh, feel to it when it's rendered in an applique format. And you can create some really cool things. So in this case, we just laid a panel of thermofilm down. You need an embroidery machine. We actually um, sewed a uh, satin stitch around the outside edge, rip away the excess film, 
and then finish it with a heat press. So it's a great time saver in two ways. One, number one, applique is a big time saver over direct embroidery because we reduce our stitch count. Secondly, rip away applique is a big time saver over traditional applique because I don't have to do individual placement or stop my machine uh, to do that sort of placement and use a lot of spray tack and issues. I just lay a panel down, uh, sew it out. And so I know you're going to like this one better. Yeah, of course. This one's my favorite because it incorporates patterns. So we're able to achieve a full color um, and rip away applique using patterns. So this is very similar because I see a lot of embroiderers and just talking to them at trade shows, they use different fabrics so that they can achieve uh, full color. But you're able to do this without having to cut that fabric with the patterns just by laying that down. As Josh mentioned, with the thermofilm, it's going to work the same way. Uh, the material that you're seeing here is our express print. And you can also achieve this with our patterns and Sparkleberry ink patterns that we just launched on the website. And I just think this is a really unique way to add full color without actually having an, an eco solvent printer in your house. So if you don't have that, this is a great option to incorporate that. Great. You covered it all. <laughs> Plus we're running short on time. <laughs> the next one I want to talk about is distressed applique. So this one uh, we cut for you. We send you the pieces, and so if you don't know, we cut applique fabrics all the time for our customers, whether that is traditional poly twill for a team uniform or something for a word mark across the front of a t-shirt, sweatshirt, whatever it may be. Uh, this is one of the coolest products, in my opinion, that we cut for you because we actually distress the applique material. And so we're doing that distressing. You can choose a variety of different fabrics, uh, types, applique fabrics to have distressed. In this case, we're using a chino twill that's uncoated. And so basically what that is, it's a, a cotton-based twill rather than a polyester-based twill. And it is a matte finish and it's also super soft. And so it's a pretty big contrast, contrast to like a polyester athletic twill. Um, so you get something that's really soft, you get that distressed effect, which is uh, extremely popular still. Um, and we do most of the work for you. All you need to do is sew your placement stitch, lay out your distressed applique, and in this case, it was just finished with a bean stitch, not even a zigzag stitch. So it's very easy for you to execute in your business. And I see some comments. Some people have the uh, heated weeding panel. Um, I know that, Mike, I see you're logged on. Um, I know that you were posting in our Facebook group, the Heat Press for Pop Profit group, about some actual tests where you had cut a bunch of things for a bunch of different projects and then weeded them on the weeding panel and the time savings. Um, these aren't made up numbers. The, the reduction in time is 50 to 80% on weeding hot peel materials when you heat it up. So make sure that you invest in a uh, device for the task. It's not too late to ask that special someone for that Christmas gift. Uh, and the weeding panel or the weeding table are two great options uh, for that for your business in 2018 that are really going to deliver money uh, back to your business. So I want to see Anything new coming, Ruben, that's cute. Uh, yeah, there's lots of uh, new stuff coming for 2018. Uh, we've been uh, jam-packed in our development meetings uh, across the world with products that we want to bring to you to solve your challenges. There was a recent thread, um, and I think Gina, who is on as well, actually started, what would you like to see from stalls in 2018? And I love that topic because uh, a lot of the products that you mentioned that you would like to see in our lineup, uh, we are so in tune uh, with your needs as our customer that you're going to see a lot of those roll out across the first quarter of 2018 and we're not slowing down anytime soon. So if you have feedback, products you'd like to see, uh, just make sure you uh, tell us. Just communicate with us in our Facebook group, tell our customer service team, they log all that feedback and weekly that goes out to the management group and the development group here. And trust me, we read all of it. Uh, we do value your feedback. Uh, if you're joining the show late, just make sure you watch afterwards. The whole thing's being recorded. Once we conclude the broadcast, it will become available on Facebook. Let's head over <laughs> for Make It Monday. Welcome to this edition of Make It Monday, where we're going to heat press a hat. Often we have the Hotronics Fusion sitting over here, which is my favorite heat press from Stalls. A little sneak peek, that press is going to get even better 
as we go into 2018. And don't worry, you'll be able to upgrade yours to make it even better. But we're going to work with the Hotronics Auto Open Cat Press today. Now, one of the reasons I love a cat press for a heat printing business, it's just so easy. Embroidering caps or screen printing caps can be difficult. Heat printing a cap can take 10 to 15 seconds after you load your cap, and boom, it's done. And so I'm going to show you some different techniques to heat print cats, caps, and I'm actually going to apply uh, a CAD cut silicone dye block transfer onto a hat just because I like the rubbery effect and feel. I'm going for the look. So let's come close over to the hat press and start with the basics. The Hotronics hat press does have interchangeable platens that swap out, and that is extremely important. Don't try to save a lot of money on a cat press and buy one without interchangeable platens because basically you're going to leave nasty crease marks on the hats. You're not going to be able to heat press half of the hats that are out there on the market. So interchangeable attachments is key. And I'll show you why. When you try to load this hat on, which is a, a district hat from Sanmar that already has a distressed effect, there is sort of like a puckered up area um, in it that makes it very tough uh, to see. And so it's just puckered up. And if I tried to heat print that, it's going to give a crease across the hat and it's going to cause an issue. So what I want to do, I'm going to swap out that standard platen. When you buy a heat press, uh, a cat press, make sure you at least buy the low profile uh, platen, which is two and three quarters by six and a half. I'm going to drop that into place. And now, when I load that cap on, I want to make sure I flip the sweatband out so it's not going to impact my pressure. And I'll lock the hold down device. It holds nice and flat and flush there so I don't have any of that puckering or any of that issues. It's a nice uh, firm contact between the surface of the cap and the actual platen. I'm going to start with a preheat just to check my pressure. And then let me adjust my temperature here. Actually, my time. I'm sorry, my temperature is good. I want it to be on 15 seconds. So I'm going to do a preheat to remove the moisture and wrinkles. This is an auto open cap press. If you want to override it uh, to open it up, you just sort of give it a little um, uppercut there and it'll pop open. And then I'm going to take, they're laughing at me for uppercutting the press. Uh, I'm going to take my CAD cut silicone dye block transfer. This is a new heat transfer material from Stalls. It's already been uh, cut and weeded. It has a little bit of dimension to it and a rubbery texture. So I'll position that down. It does not have a sticky backing, so anytime you're working with a material that doesn't have a sticky backing, it helps to have thermal tape and a dispenser nearby because I'm going to be able to hold that in place and tape it onto the hat. And that way I can be sure that it won't shift when I complete the application. So I'm just going to tape that into place, cover it with the cover sheet. In this case, I'm using craft paper. The reason I like to cover it is just so the transfer doesn't stick to the heater, especially when you're working with a cold peel material like silicone dye block is. And I'm going to heat apply that for the full application time. In this case, I'm using uh, 15 seconds, 300 degrees. I'm up at a firm pressure. It's going to auto open. Sometimes it removes the cover sheet for you like that. Unlock the hold down device, slide my cap away, and then I need to let this cool down. So this is an exercise in patience here. And so while we're waiting that to cool down, let's head back over to the table and we're going to take any questions that you have. So silicone can be used even on a garment that isn't dye sub. Yeah, so sometimes you'll want to choose silicone just for the thickness and the texture. It mm -hmm. almost has, I always um, say like the silicone wristbands where it has the rubbery texture. That's right. the best comparable I can give. It has that texture. So sometimes people want to use it just for effect. So um, trying to say, yeah, the Under Armour logo here has that sort of rubbery effect mm -hmm. on this shirt. So some people just use it for left chest logos on corporate wear, even when they don't need the dye block effect. Yeah, that's actually where I've seen that silicone finish a lot is in any of those um, retail stores like Nike and Under Armour. Yeah, so it's a really easy to use product right now, still a little bit warm. It comes in uh, seven colors and uh, it's been selling really well, especially the white, because I think people are primarily using it for the dye block mm -hmm. uh, functionality of it right now. Uh, we are looking, I know we've heard feedback that people want a thicker silicone, so that's something we're looking into uh, for early 2018, is perhaps instead of just the 200 micron thickness, 
is doing something like a 500 micron thickness. And then we have some questions coming in. So while this is finishing up, uh, will the heat tape leave an impression? Uh, it should not leave an impression, especially on a uh, cotton item. Yeah, I guess if you had something that was really sensitive to even the carrier, mm -hmm. like some of the faux leather stuff, like a pad folio, then I would be a little bit concerned and want to conduct a test. But for standard apparel, you shouldn't have an issue. Uh, black hologram, Tommy asks. I think we have black hologram, so we should we do, be yep. in good shape there. Mm -hmm. That's on the website. And will the interchangeable platens work with the red cat press? I will need to uh, take a look and evaluate that. Um, because I'm not sure of that answer, actually. So I'll, I'll respond back to you um, afterwards. Who manufactures the red? That's us. Fresca? Okay. <laughs> well, Surprise. there you go. <laughs> Learn something new every day. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a unit that we only sell um, at certain divisions. So uh, through okay. the stalls unit, we sell the Hotronics Auto Open, and then we sell the uh, Black Press, which is a Max Cat right. Press as our economy unit. Um, in Europe and internationally in Canada, where I believe Mike is from, right. uh, we sell that red press as well in um, gotcha. some of those locations. So let me uh, peel this for you. So started to work up the tape. We'll see if we can get a... Remove it. And then you have the completed look. So. You can go directly over the seam with the hat. I love the distressing on this particular hat. So not only do you get the rubbery texture, but you get the um, style of the hat. So it, it's just a cool product. I know that we um, just had a, a sales call with a company that was looking to do uh, hat transfers, and they were really impressed with uh, the silicone effects and what you could get from it. Uh, Flock is a product that we've always shown mm -hmm. on headwear, so I still like Flock equally because it has that sort of fuzzy texture as we talked about earlier. Um, but heat printing headwear, I think, is uh, something that's underutilized, so I would recommend uh, taking a hard look at that for your business. And the Max Cat Press, it's the one I have at home. Um, it's an easy one to get started in. Um, just for that same dance school, I've applied like rhinestone transfers onto hats. We've done the bill of hats with a lot of different things, so a lot of different opportunities. Okay, uh, Ruben wants the real high material. We got you. Yeah, <laughs> definitely hear that feedback. And I believe we're kind of clear with questions uh, right now. Is the silicone like the Caesar brick? Um, I it, would say that the Caesar brick's thicker than the silicone. Well, that one's a thousand microns, but it's also a polyurethane base, so it's not going to have the same performance characteristics with dye block. It's mm -hmm. just basically built for thickness. So I would say once we have the 500 micron, it would be closer. Um, but I think the silicone has some extra performance advantage, advantages in how it handles uh, sublimated dyes and bleed through on stuff you're going to see on a lot of these polyester garments right. that you want to print with it. Okay, so we will be having joining you back. I believe the next morning show is on January 9th. We're going to take a little break here for the holidays. And we hope that uh, you as our viewers uh, think about your business. Um, as you're planning 2018. We'll be coming back in 2018 reporting on some trends that we hope to see and showing you more decoration options than ever that'll be available for stalls. So from all of us at Stalls TV, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, and we'll talk to you real soon.